For me, I'm the very old fashioned in a way. If I were to buy a unit trust fund, I want to make sure that they actually go and buy the analyzed stock. Same thing also, if I were to buy an ETF, I want to make sure that, for example, just now we say Spider S&P 500, I want to make sure that they actually buy this S&P 500. So, should anything were to happen, a crisis, whatever, I don't mind because it's reflecting the actual value of that particular asset. And to me, that is investing. When there is synthetic ETF, they say you can buy India market, but this particular ETF may not actually buy certain stock in India market because this India market is a bit complicated. So they may buy derivatives uh, that replicate the India market. For certain scenario that affect that particular derivative, maybe India market is still doing well, but the risk happened to the derivative. And for that matter, because of the underlying asset is derivative, and this is a synthetic ETF, I may suffer losses because of that counterparty risk and not because India market drop. For me, that complicate investment management, investment instrument, investment environment, our life is already complicated. And the time that we have got for every one of us is so limited. So I would suggest do not complicate our investment strategy because we are managing our portfolio for a very long time. I am now, for example, 50 years old. I still got 30 years to manage my portfolio until the last day of my life. So surely for something that requires close attention, strong discipline, it's important for us to make it as plain, as straightforward, as solid as possible. Then only when we spend time in investment, we don't feel unnecessarily stressed. So that I would suggest a very important tip for us to have is that it's very important to keep our investments simple, solid, so that we do not uh, face unnecessary risk like counterparty risk uh, that may happen to us. I would say it is a good initiative by the government to promote ETF in Malaysia. Uh, but I would say if you want to have a better idea of the universe of ETF, you should look beyond Malaysia. Then you can feel the breath <laughs> and the depth and the assignment of uh, this ETF investment. Otherwise, if you look at what is available in Malaysia, you may find that it's quite limited and not so exciting. If money is important to you, please remember to subscribe to my channel.